It's time to get your pet questions answered live. That number is 270-9933. Dr. Carrie Donahue from Full Circle Holistic Veterinary Care joins us now. Hello. Good Hello. to see you. You too. We have some calls. I don't have a computer. There we go. Mary from Boscobel, what's your call? Hello, Mary, you there? Hi, Mary. Yes, hi. Oops, Thank hang you. on. i got to shut this off. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Hi, thank you for taking my call. Um, I have a two-year-old female cat, and I'd like to get a companion for it. Would it be better to get another female or a male? Mm. Good, question. Not Good question. Good yeah, question. Yeah. I tend to think female cats do get along a little bit better with other females, but that's definitely not across the board. It really seems to be more than anything else, individual cats. So it might be a situation where if you are looking for another cat, maybe fostering a cat first just to see if that relationship is okay, if they get along with each other, and if that's going okay, then move toward adoption. Would a kitten help? A kitten might be the best bet if you have an adult cat because they're much more accepting of kittens than oh, other adults. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to Ray in Cambridge. Hi, Ray, what's your question? My question is, I have a 14-year-old Kitsu Bichon mix, and he has skin problems. And he has uh, what look like pimples, but they don't exude anything. He has okay. flaky skin, and he's always nibbling here and scratching. Mm, it's so, common for his breed. Yeah. Yeah, and it. How old did you say he was? Fourteen. He's gonna be fourteen oh, on 14. July second. Yeah, and that does. It tends to happen as they get older, and the kind of like the little bumps that you're seeing, those might be something called sebaceous cysts, and it's just a kind of like a hair follicle that fills up with dead skin cells. They can sometimes bother them, sometimes not. It tends to happen more in older dogs, and they can also get older dog warts, and those are like little pink, kind of gross that they get on their skin, and that happens when they get older too. And you know, with those things, not a whole lot that you can do about them the flaky skin the itchiness it could be allergies or it could be related to those bumps I would say maybe trying a supplement like fish oil fish oil is really good for the skin it's really good for the fur and the hair coat and keeping the skin moisturized so nice for itchiness and nice for flakiness too so to put it in the food or something mm -hmm. mix it right in with the food all right all right next caller Gert from Madison what's your question um, I have a 15 year old cat and she started messing on my carpeting all of a sudden. Oh, what can I do to stop it? Oh goodness, that's a hard thing. And if your cat is 15 years old, it could be because of a variety of different reasons related to aging. Sometimes cats that have arthritis have trouble getting into the litter box and that's why they don't want to use it. Uh, sometimes they get dementia and they forget where it is and so they go outside of the litter box. And sometimes they do it if they have a bladder infection or you know a UTI or something else is bothering them internally. I would start with trying to get a urine sample to your vet so they could at least test it for any infection, any crystals, any inflammation, and they could treat that if they need to. Especially a 15-year-old cat. Mm -hmm. All right, we are out of time. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for coming in. Absolutely. We'll see you next month.